Hi all and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikita Amory and today I'm going to show you how wearing a mitza on your bag is a great way to protect the handles but also a good way to inject your personality and elevate your style. Keep on watching and like and subscribe if you like this video. Today I'll be showing you three different ways to tie your mitza on your bag and also how to protect and store your mitza for long term use. I have three mitzas here and I also have three Lady Dior's. I brought out my fair ladies, my princess bags if you will and I wanted to show you a few different ways that they can really kind of bump up your style a little bit more. What a mitza will always do is protect the handles from gaining those oils and turning into a little bit more of an aged leather. So sometimes underneath the handles you will see a little bit of discoloration and this is just because people have been holding it in that one area repetitively. If you put a mitza on your bag you will stop this and you generally won't see any discoloration if that's always how you handle your bags. Now of course I don't always wear a mitza on my handbags but if I know that I'm walking around or if it's an event that I'm going to be out in the garden and socializing and holding my bag's top handle as I love to do then I will put a mitza on my bag but if it's just for dinner and most of the time my bag is in the car then I might just wear it without top handles. So a good bag to have a mitza on is a very plain white bag because there's not a lot going on with the color so you can really explore with the mitza styles. So here in front I have have this one here which is the Toit de Joy very traditional mitza and this one is blue with an off-white kind of a background and you can see that would look quite cool on this mini lady deal there. I also have this one which I bought quite a while ago I think it was in 2020 when they brought out this really cool color and I thought that this would really go well with like the fard Lady Dior which I don't have and it was kind of like my aspirational mitza that I bought in hopes that one day I will get the fard. I still want that bag but I am happy with what I've got at the moment. So this one I think would look really good on this bag because it is white. I do think the injection of the nude looks really cool on this bag. So you could definitely wear this if you wanted to protect the handle and you didn't want it to look too adventurous. Still going in with a beige outfit that could definitely work. Lastly, I have this very bright colored one that I got in France and this is a really good one because if your outfit is needing a little bit more punch and you want to sort of look a little bit more adventurous, then this is the Mitzvah just sort of style. So I thought this one with the pink Lady Dior could look quite cool because it's like a bit of red and a little bit of pink and it could definitely work well. I I've also worn this Mitza on my bright pink mini Lady Dior and this looks really cool when you style it this way. I find that it sort of goes really well with the pink because it's a brighter pink. But I also think that you could probably try and use it on these bags. So we'll see how we go with this one. Okay, so stay tuned to see how I style these Mitzas on these three Lady Dior bags. Okay, so here is the first way to tie your mitza on your Lady Dior. This is the most simple way to tie it. So if you are not really experienced, but you do want your Lady Dior to look nice with its mitza on, this is how I would recommend you tie it. So always start if your mitza has the Christian Dior. Try and start at this end because this will make it pop out of the bag and the rest will kind of be covered or kind of be obstrued by the twisting and the turning. So I start with this end and simply just thread it through the loop right there. So from the outside in and then grab it on the other side and kind of judge how much you want to stick out. 
Now with the minis they are quite small so if you do have quite a lot out it will sort of make more of the mitts of the focused but you know sort of play around with it and decide how much you want to show. So if you want the whole wording of Christian Dior you'll have to leave quite a lot of it out but if you wanted it to just peep out a little bit you can sort of have a bit of the Christian poking out there and then what you do with the rest of it is just take it around to the other side and make a loop through the front. So just pulling it. So yeah, have that sticking out, hold it in place and then just pull it and this just makes a simple high. And then all you need to do after that is start twisting it around. And I just twist from the outside and then in ways. So you're just wrapping it around. And you want the full protection, so all the way down. And then when you get to the end, it should look something like this. And what I do is I loop it through. So I loop it through the back. So just right around through the hoop. And then pick it up and then follow that hole that you've just made and tuck it in there and pull it tight. Then when you're finished, you can just kind of pull it, play with it a little bit, and there you have the mitza on your bag. So it's very much a simple way to do it. And you can see there's only a tiny little bit hanging out on that side. And then this side has a lot more facing out. You can sort of see the Christian, but if I had the full Christian Dior, it would have come down to about here. So this just makes it look a little bit more conservative and still holds that elegance of the colour of the bag. But you can see this Mitza works really well. Okay, so that one is that bag. Let's move on to the Latte Lady Dior. So this one is the perfect blank canvas. It is just very neutral. And when you sort of play around with mitzvahs on this bag, you can have quite a lot of fun. So I chose this one to go over this bag. And with this one, we're gonna tie a little bow. So thread down this part of the mitza and choose how much you want for the bottom of the bow to be. So this is the part that will be sticking out. Then grab the other end of the mitza and do the same and just thread it right through. But this time leaving a little bit of space and what this space will initiate is the top of the bow. Then do the same and hold this end up ways and sort of tuck that one through. And this is creating the other side of the bow, making sure not to pull anything else, which is quite easy with the silk because it just slides right through. And then what you want to do once you've got your bow is take the other side of the leftover bow and just thread it through the opposite side and this will serve as a purpose just to cover up the metal bar you just pull this one through and that will just cover up that metal bar there. Then once you've done so, you can start to wrap the mitza around the entirety of the handle. And 
then I just make a knot at the top because for this one I want to just let the mitzvah cover half of the bag. So what I will do is I will tie a knot and then when I get towards the end I'll also tie another knot but when I tie that knot with the very little bit left over I will pull that tight and then pull it over again and just tuck it at the back until there is not enough visible to cause a roughness. And that will just ensure that half of the mitzvah is staying on the bag. This is hardware tarnish onto your bag which can be irreversible so I think this one's a little bit better I'm still not 100% sure it's very hard to do it on camera but anyway these are my efforts for today so we've got a little bow there with a little bit of a tie coming out which tends to want to sort of twist around and how cool does this look it's very pretty and elegant and you can see that it just really shows a lot more character to what could be considered a bit more of a neutral bag. And there we have it, three mitzvahs tied on three Lady Dior bags. It's a very stylish way to elevate your Lady Dior. There are many different ways that you can experiment with your mitzvah tying capabilities and it's all just about having a little bit of fun and seeing what looks best for your style. So I also wanted to touch up on how to correctly look after and store your mitzvah scarves. So I have another mitzvah scarf here and you can see that it is quite creased. Over time they do get quite a lot of creases from tying them on your Lady Dior's. And the best way to get rid of the creases would probably be to hang up your mitzvah like this and you can hang it up for several weeks and eventually the natural fibers of the silk will just make it sort of flatten out over time. But if you don't have time if you wanted it to be nicely pressed then what I would suggest doing is using a very low steam setting on your iron or your steamer and this should eventually get a lot of the creases out immediately definitely don't go straight in with the iron if you do have to iron it then I would suggest using another piece of fabric over the top so that you're not getting the direct contact with the iron and damaging the fibers of the silk always use on a very low setting and this should ensure that you're protecting the longevity of your mitzvah scarves. So once you have gotten the creases out and you want to wear it as a necktie, how I would do it is just simply pop it over the neck and then cross it over 
and then flip it underneath the top part here and because there's quite a bit of space you can adjust it and I would just leave it directly like that without a secure knot it's basically just a tie but it should be enough just to hold its own position there this looks quite elegant really good for those spring summer autumn kind of moments and when you pair it with a silk shirt like this the silks just look really nice together it almost looks like a part of the shirt but just a little bit more elevated to your look so I would just wear it like this but what I would also do is maybe secure it with a little bobby pin behind the backs just so that the tie doesn't become loose and this is very easy to do so that when you're walking around if the wind blows you're not going to lose your mitts or scarf so anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed and if you did please give it a like and we'll see you in the next video